previously on Bangkok to Ho Chi Minh the long way. Mebo noodles. Breakfast of the champions. Gas leak. Emergency, emergency. Hello. What's your, what's your name? Getting around the streets of Ho Chi Minh can be nerve-wracking, but my grab driver managed to get me from the train station to the hotel I was staying in one piece. Or should I say, the hostel. No, I'm not staying in a dormitory with a half a dozen 20-year-old backpackers. I'm always willing to spend a couple of dollars more to have my own room, even if it is only slightly bigger than my closet. The Galaxy Hostel in District 1. The location is pretty good, there's a clean room, hot water, a decent bed, there's much needed air conditioning, and the price is right. 390,000 Vietnamese dong, or $16.65 US. Those are my prerequisites for accommodation. There's even a hot water maker and complimentary tea. And did I mention Highlands Coffee is just across the street? Speaking of Highlands Coffee, that's the first thing I do when I get to Saigon. I come to Highland Coffee. I'm going foo foo all the way, baby. I deserve it after this trip. I remember the pork lady outside of my hotel. I remember the area. I'm gonna have a nice dinner tonight, and I'm gonna relax, and I'm gonna sleep, and then I'm gonna wake up early, like I always do. Starbucks. This was sixty nine thousand, which is I don't know, two dollars and twenty five cents. So what's that work out to be? Seventy six and uh, like eighty five ninety bot. So Starbucks is like double that. All right, so I'm in this hidden, hidden little area where it's a local's establishment, and they sell all kinds of barbecue stuff. I'm here with Tao. Tao is Vietnamese from Saigon. Yeah. Okay. All right, so tell us, tell us about this place. It's so, called what? Atu. Yeah, Atu. This is like a Cambodia food. Actually, it's kind of weird because. You made all the way to Vietnam, but you eat Cambodia. <laughs> this is a Cambodian restaurant. Yeah, this is like a Cambodia localized food. Wow. They localized with uh, Saigon taste. Huh. <laughs> so all we right. have all kind of, you know, um, barbecue. This is the beef, the pork. Um, this, you know, this banh mi mi bo, banh mi mi bo, pate. Oh. Pate, yeah. Um, and here too, we have spring rolls um, and all, you know, all the fried things. So like meatballs and fish balls things. Ah, uh, yeah. And sounds good. And the price is super friendly too, like student friendly. <laughs> super friendly, <laughs> student friendly. Yeah. I like student friendly places. <laughs> you can see all the teenagers, right? Like all people in their twenties. This people, this place is kicking. It's it's packed full. We were lucky to get a seat here. Yeah. And. There's people in the back. There yeah, are people inside, in the maybe. back inside. Oh. I can't wait to try this food. Yeah. How do I balance my personal life with what I'm doing? Yes. It's very difficult because it's hard to separate. Oh, should I should I get that footage? Because that could be a good video. Yes. You know. Look at all this. This area might turn to a tourist area after your video. It, it, might, it might go viral on the It might. It might go viral and it's your area. fault. We're going to blame it on you. Yeah, it's going this, you know, the nature, low cold to nature vibe here. Wow. So, yeah. 
Yeah, there is a lot of young people here. The first thing you do, you have to dip it in the sauce. And then, the savory goodness. Let me savor this. It's hot, it's humid here, I'm tired. And you know what, Vietnamese food, when you're tired and hot and sticky, is marvelous. It tastes enough itself. You can dig into it. Crunchy, soft in the middle, warm, it's very good. So now this is the banh mi. Mm, banh mi, and they have a butter inside. A banh mi with butter? Yeah. Wow. So you can eat it and you can That looks it. good. Yeah, this is the barbecue. That's just like, uh, that. Never, that's uh, beef or pork? Um, I think this is beef and this is pork. Yeah, that one's pork. Yeah, so you have both of us. And then that's papaya. Yeah, papaya. Wow. So it's similar to it's similar to in Thailand. It's very similar. The like a satay, they call it a satay. Mm, yeah. But I would I would I'm going to have one of these bon mi. I like butter. Who doesn't like butter? Everybody likes butter. Look at that. They buttered up a so nice. Can I do this? This is like a local thing, but you can ask a separate butter ball. You can ask for a separate butter ball, like just ask for a bonus one. Oh, really? Yeah. You can ask for a butter ball. Yeah. That's funny. No, she's not naked, it just looks like it. Maybe your pants can see the name here. There we go. Yeah, We're not in Cambodia, we are in Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. And we we got we got two of each. We got the two bar, two uh, we, beef and pork. And yeah, we got yeah, two butter, pork, two beef, two bon mi, and we and got the spring rolls. Yeah. And let's see how much it cost. Okay. All this goodness. One hundred sixteen, or a little bit less than five dollars. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Come be a all right, that was very tasty. Thank you very much, Mr. Tao, for taking us to Atung. This is a very, very local restaurant, and I always like eating local. Check this place out. It's still packed. How late does it stay open? Ten p.m. Ten p.m. Next on Bangkok to Ho Chi Minh City, the long way. So today is the last day in Ho Chi Minh. I'll be home tomorrow morning. And I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm in an ant colony. So much action going on here.